ladies and gentlemen, we have an X flare in progress. And there you see the time stamp as we're making the video. Wednesday, March 30th, around noontime, X 1.3. That's the highest measurement. X 1.3, probably coming from a uh, sunspot group that's been giving us the M flares. There is a radio blackout currency, the D region absorption prediction there. There's the D wrap. Just over Central America is the bullseye. Current level now is still at M6.8 as it's dropping down. So significant X flare, short duration. And we're seeing what happens as we move forward. I just bring, wanted to bring your attention to the X1.3 that just kicked off the sun as we await the geomagnetic storm. It's coming in the next few hours. As I'm watching the telemetry here, all of a sudden, boom, X 1.3 kicking off the sun. We're going to have updated videos, see if there's an associated coronal mass ejection with this. Uh, it's far too soon to know. Just a, just occurred now, just a minute ago, and still dropping down. I'll refresh this M6.8, M6.0. And we have just experienced a low-level X flare, X 1.3, just kicked off as we await the oncoming geomagnetic storm to add insult to injury the sun kicks it up a notch x 1.3 kicking off the sun and we are waiting for telemetry to know if there's a coronal mass ejection headed our way it won't be directly earth facing but it will if it's coming from the same region it will be generally in our direction the current d region absorption showing radio blackout over central america so keep a close eye for, for the updates on uh, potential CME associated with this X 1.3 solar flare that just occurred on the sun. As we await a geomagnetic storm to start in the next six to eight hours, an X flare just fired off the sun. Stay tuned for more updates. Hope you got something out of the video. That's a boom to knowledge in our sun, which is waking up and ramping up. Subscribe if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. Stay tuned for more boom.